Hey everybody, my name is Claudia. I'm an entrepreneur, I'm an author, I'm a College Street Independent Stylist, and my goal is to help you save time and save money so you can spend those things on yourself, your family, and your business. So today we're talking about something that is so awesome and very, very helpful in all aspects of life, both life and business, is something that I like to call batch work. So today I'm actually doing my own batch work. So I thought it would be a really good time um, to talk, to just do this video and talk about it. So batch work is when it's, it is what it sounds like. It's pretty simple concept of that. Um, you take something that you have to do, that it's something in your business or in your life that you do it over and over and over again. And you just make sure that you carve out a specific amount of time to do all of that together so that um, those things are done, you're prepared, and you can access those things faster the next time that you need them. So um, I'm going to give you an example. In my Color Street business, I make these packets that go out to hostesses. I'm going to pop in and out here. And inside the packet, I have different resources. I have an opportunity brochure. I have a catalog. I have um, usually some of these two finger testers. I have free set of nails. So again, this is for um, party hostesses, people that do parties. I put in a thank you card um, and usually another gift, at least one other gift. So they're all gonna go inside of this. Now this is something with the exception of handwriting the card that I can just put these all together and put them aside so that when I do have a new hostess, you know, I'll be able to just grab one of those packs, one of these envelopes, write my personalized thank you card or letter and send it off. So this is saving me a lot of time because otherwise, now this happens where I don't do my batch work and I have to do these one by one. And if I'm doing them one by one, sometimes I notice that I don't have like all the supplies I need. I need to print things off. Um, I need more business cards, something like that. So it ends up eating up time. Um, and the other piece of that is that when it comes to mail, I don't particularly enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the honest truth. I find that it's really just tedious. So um, to make this easier on me, and as we know, when you're creating habits, um, the simpler you can make it, the more likely you are to stick to it. So in order to get these things out on time, doing this batch work is really important because it makes it simple. And as far as other aspects of your life and time saving, you can apply this to many things. I'm gonna to try to think of something that I do. Another sort of concept of batch work, um, habit forming, making things simpler is coupling, coupling habits. So um, for example, in the mornings, I wanted to make it a goal that because I'm an author, that every single morning I'm going to carve out about an hour of time, if not to two hours of time, where I just sit down and focus and write and I'm not doing other things. Um, so what I did is that I set my alarm for the time that I wanted to get up and I coupled that habit with coffee because when I get up in the morning, I am not doing any, I'm not thinking of anything else other than getting that coffee. So I get the coffee ready. While my coffee is brewing, I'm uh, catching up on things real quick that I want to with my other businesses. I'm doing my affirmations, excuse me, maybe some light stretching. So I'm just squeezing in that little amount of time that my coffee is brewing. I am on my phone 
and I'm catching up on these little things so I don't feel like those things are in the background. So there's one example of batching. And then the next example is that once I have that coffee in my hand, I'm sitting down in front of my computer, everything else is off and I'm writing. And that's the next example of sort of batching that time, batching those habits um, so that it's simpler and they trigger each other. When you have a coffee, you think about writing. Um, so those are just a couple of examples. Paying bills, um, you know, sitting down, creating a specific time, a specific day. When you sit down, you focus, that's all you're doing. And you do it all at once so that you don't have to think about it again for another week or two weeks or however it is for you. Um, <laughs> I think about laundry, <laughs> laundry, um, saving time with that and saving energy and thoughts from that because I hate laundry and I can sit there and I can think about how I need to do laundry for days and not do it just because it sucks and I don't want to do it. But if I tell myself that on a certain day, I'm doing this laundry, that's the only task that I'm going to do when it comes to the house that day, and I'm going to do it all at once. So I'll do all the kids' laundry, I'll do my laundry, and I'm putting it all away. And then it's out of sight, out of mind. I batch worked it. I did it the whole thing from beginning to end. And I told myself I'm freeing up my day for that. There's nothing else that has to get done. So just some ideas there. Let me know if this video is helpful. Um, let me know if you uh, figure out some batch work things that you can do as far as in your business or in your life. How can you make things a little bit simpler for you so that they're not so miserable? <laughs> and let me know. Comment, subscribe, follow me. I'm on social media. You can check out my newsletter at sadiadow.com, S-A-A-D-I-A-D-O-W.com. Thanks. I hope you have a great Monday. Bye-bye.